Many high performance engines use studs rather than bolts to hold down the head or to hold the main caps in place. A stud with a fine thread has a much greater clamping force than a coarse thread. So when you put in studs, you apply greater clamping force to the item, so therefore you have less head lifting problems and uh, man cap walk and things like that. One of the problems that you often encounter when installing studs is the fact that the holes that they're going into can often vary in their height or in their depth. So if they go in, if you've got a stud that's uh, going into a hole and it's deeper, the stud will appear to be shorter or too short for the job. Now, it's common sense to realise that the nut has to fully engage on the stud. We can't have uh, you know, three quarters of the nut exposed or half of the nut exposed there like that. It has to have entire uh, purchase onto the stud. And the simple engine builder's trick to fix that problem up is to pack the stud up to get them all to the correct height if the block has been machined to a greater than standard depth. Now what, what we do as engine builders, it's very simple, you just unthread the stud out of the block. Actually before I take that out I'll just show you the variation in these. Now they're all in tight as you can see and if you check it with like a straight edge you can see there that there's a variation of probably around about 8 mil from one to another. Now these two heights here, they don't even, doesn't look parallel to the block with me, so we've got three different heights on three different studs. Now, in this particular instance, the nut is probably not going to engage fully when you put the head on. So what we'd normally do is just pack the stud up. Now the simple and cheap and quick and easy way to pack the stud up when it's going into a blind hole, like these Fords are, is to use a ball bearing. Now we have ball bearings in different thicknesses, which you can get from bearing service companies and all the rest of it. All you do is you drop the ball bearing down the hole. The ball bearing will register against the end of the stud. It'll give you the correct amount of engagement of the, uh, of the thread into the block. It'll push up against the, the top of the thread like it's supposed to. And we just wind that in by fingers. And check it again, and we're back up to a, a much closer height now. Now we're all within, we're within a, a few mil, probably three mil now, two mil, two mil up. So that obviously has raised us enough to allow the nut to fully engage onto the stud and do the proper job of clamping the head or the main cap in place. With the Fords, we find the heads are usually not too bad, but the mains vary a lot. So we often encounter this problem on the mains more than the, more than the heads. But here's obviously a case where we've got a quite a substantial variation that we need to address. But yeah, the ball bearing will do. You can get ball bearings uh, in all sorts of different diameters. So, you know, like a you know, quarter inch one, five sixteenth, whatever you need, pack it up, done and finished. Problem fixed.